Today we're going to cook a really authentic chicken enchiladas with a red salsa and I guarantee you it's going to have your taste buds absolutely watering. So I'm going to start off with my nice chicken breasts and they're just going into the bottom of this little pot and we're going to cover them very simply with a little bit of water and some of my little spices that I have just over here. First of all, some nice jalapeno peppers. That's going to give it a real nice bite to it. So a few peppercorns go in there, some coriander, and a few nice little onions. Now we'll cover that, only just cover it with a little bit of water. Now in essence, what we're doing here is we're basically making like a little Mexican stock, low to medium heat. We're just going to poach those very, very gently for about 12 to 15 minutes. So what we're going to make now is our lovely little tomato sauce to go with these enchiladas. Nice, low, even heat. Start off by getting our onions in there. Now we're just going to cook these until they're nice and translucent for about a minute, a minute and a half. I've got two cloves of garlic that have just been basically smashed, not chopped any finer than that. They go in, and we'll just gently let that sweat for the next 90 seconds or so. So the next thing that goes in there is some nice chopped up tomatoes. I'm also going to add in there a little bit of taco seasoning. In that goes, and we'll just stir that, and we're basically going to let it simmer for three or four minutes until all those tomatoes and onions soften up and combine really nicely. So a couple more ingredients to go in now. Firstly, some jalapeno peppers. That'll give it that wonderful little bite. And a little bit of tomato puree. That's basically just going to bring the whole salsa together and thicken it up really nicely. So just stir that in. We'll cook it out for about another two minutes. So that chicken has just finished simmering and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it out of that little poaching liquor that we have. It's very important that we do the next stage while that chicken is still nice and warm. What we're going to do is we're going to use two forks and we're just basically going to use that to flake our nice chicken meat. So just laying it on the chopping board very simply, flake it just like that. So that lovely chicken has been flaked up, looking really, really good. I'm going to add a few fantastic ingredients to make this into a lovely stuffing for our enchiladas. First one, a little bit of cheddar cheese. In that goes. Use a nice sharp one, I think that gives a really nice contrast. We're going to add in some nice chopped onion. Now if you're not sure how to get a fine dice of onion, go to our fantastic tutorial on how to prepare vegetables and ice foods. That'll really show you some really good chef secrets. Next ingredient, some sour cream. Now I'm using light sour cream, so you're going to save yourself about 40% fat by going with this one. So in that goes. Some nice sliced up olives, and in they go. And then finally, for that little bite, another few jalapenos. And they're the thing that give it that lovely heat. Now one last thing that I'm going to do is the cooking liquor that I poached the chickens in. I'm going to put about four nice spoonfuls into my stuffing mix. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to give it a really nice consistency. So we're going to start mixing that all together. And this is going to form an amazing stuffing for those wonderful enchiladas. So that's come together nicely. I have my stuffing and I have my wonderful salsa that I've made before. I'm just letting that cool down ever so slightly. So we're really ready to take these enchiladas on to the next stage now. So what we've assembled here is a wonderful little production line. This is going to make our life so much easier. I've got my salsa here, a plate, a lovely chicken mixture, and here I've got a lovely oven proof dish that we're going to bake our lovely enchiladas in in the oven. So we go down this end and the first thing we do is we just dip that flour tortilla in like that. Now make sure you've washed your hands before you even think of starting this. So you want basically a nice covering on both sides. Once that's done, onto your plate. We take about two nice spoonfuls of the mix and just put it straight down the middle. And now very carefully, 
we're just going to roll it and tuck it in. Just roll it up like a cigarette or a cigar. And that's exactly what you're looking for there. We're going to make about 10 of those and then they'll go into our nice oven proof dish. Now before anything goes into your oven proof dish, you just want to cover the bottom with some of your lovely tomato salsa. So once that's in the bottom, we're going to start layering our lovely enchiladas into our bowl. Just something like that. We're going to fill it right up with about six or seven different enchiladas. Fantastic. So I've rolled those up and I've squeezed in as many as I can. Now next thing over the top, we'll just put the remainder of that lovely tomato salsa. And the wonderful thing about that incredible stuffing that we made is you've got all that cheddar cheese in there, that nice sour cream. That's just going to melt when it goes into the oven and you're going to end up with an incredibly tasty enchilada. So one last touch is a nice little bit of cheddar cheese over the top. I've also got a little bit of fontina in there, which isn't 100% Mexican, but it's my little twist and I like the way it just melts really, really well into these. So that's it, ready to go into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes and just let all that cheese melt down into them and they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous.